competition to develop new environmental technologies is heating up as the fight against global warming intensifies. In the field of biofuel production, algae have long drawn attention along with other biofuel products like corn and soybeans. On Friday, a groundbreaking method to produce fuel from algae, so-called green crude oil, was shown to the public at an international exhibition in Yokohama. NHK World's Miho Fukunaga has more. Solar power, wind power, and biofuel. The latest technologies from around the world are here at the Renewable Energy International Exhibition in Yokohama, near Tokyo. Among them, an economical and environmentally friendly method of producing biofuel from algae is now on display. Thanks to the efficiency in absorbing carbon dioxide and the variable oils they contain, a lot more focus is now going into algae in many countries, including the U.S. and Japan. These countries are aiming to put algae-derived green crude oil into practical use, such as for jet fuel, within a few years. But the large quantities of fuel and chemicals currently needed to dry the wet algae and extract their oils makes the biofuel expensive and so far not exactly eco-friendly. Dr. Hideki Kanda of the Central Research Institute of Electric Power Industry has developed a new method that could see IG fuel go from the lab to everyday use in the very near future. The only chemical his method uses is liquefied dimethyl ether, an organic compound that is used in hairsprays and is said to be harmless. After it's mixed with algae, the ether helps draw out the oily components in the algae cells. This method is capable of extracting more than 60 times the amount of green crude oil compared to conventional methods. My method can convert every kind of algae from naturally occurring algae to specially manipulated algae into biofuel. I'm sure it has the potential to become the global standard to produce green crude oil. The conventional process of producing algae fuels relies mostly on modified strains of algae. But Kanda's method could be applied to all kinds of algae, including those proliferating in many polluted lakes and ponds. Kanda says more basic experiments are needed before his method can be put into practical use. But once completed, he says he expects green crude oil will move to the forefront in the fight against global warming. Miho Fukunaga, NHK World, Yokohama.